So I go to the dentist regularly. This sheep said it's never been to a dentist in its entire life. Well, until now. And uh, that is pretty crazy. Look how pretty those teeth are. Why do these fish have human teeth? And how are you doing today? I am Dr. Rob, fish dentist. Is there actually such thing as a fish dentist? I don't know, I don't care for this video. I'm calling myself one, thus I'm now a doctor of fish teeth. So today, get ready. I brought some friends that are in here, in this uh, cooler, and my friends have been sedated for this surgery. We're gonna look at their teeth and find out some other cool things. These fish in here, these mystery fish, have teeth that literally look like human teeth. So we're gonna learn about gingivitis, plaque buildup. I'm just kidding, we're not gonna learn about any of that. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna learn something about fish, how crazy their teeth are, how crazy these human teeth are in fish, Stay tuned, this is really cool what, what's about to come out of this cooler and uh, might freak you out a little bit, but don't be afraid, these aren't the fish of nightmares. In fact, they're the fish of dreams because they are delicious and nutritious. So stay tuned, Dr. Rob, get ready for the infomercial. Just kidding, it's just gonna be me, it's just gonna be us. The operating table is set up. You can see some of my tools right here. For some reason, I have a hatchet. I'm actually not gonna need that. Filet knives. But don't worry, I won't be flaying fish in this video. We're gonna do some looking at the map, my brush. I think this thing's called an otoscope. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be using this at all, but anyways, why not have a cool prop? Anyways, filet gloves, mask. When you're a fish dentist, you gotta be you gotta be careful around the patients. Let's meet patient number one. Learn about these teeth. There is, look at those pearly whites. Check it out. What I really like to do to prevent gingivitis, plaque buildup, decay of teeth, dentist recommends. Get you some of that right in there. Oh yeah. I'll make sure I uh, don't use this one of my own teeth. Get in there and pick them. So again, check out that crazy mouth. I'm gonna pick, ready to go. So look inside here, and here's the cool thing. It's got the front row to crush things. So these front teeth crush the barnacles, the clam shells, the crabs, whatever you might have. And again, look just like human teeth, but they will absolutely lock down and crush things. There are teeth on top of teeth. We have one row, they have a bunch of rows. So, super cool, check that out. Now what they do, these front teeth crush everything, then the back teeth grind it up some more so they can eat clams, shells, uh, whatever, crabs like we talked about. And then the back teeth do the dirty work and grind it up and then they get nice and fat. And part of the cool thing about sheep's head and these human teeth is that the reason they're so delicious is because their diet is delicious. They eat things we'd like to eat, crabs, and they're not eating lobsters, but they taste almost like a lobster. A delicious recipe I'll have in the bio is called Poor Man's Lobster, and it's based on these delicious fish. Stay tuned for some more cool facts about uh, fish, teeth, and even some eels. They may have prettier teeth than me, I'm a little jealous. Uh, the sheep's head's probably around eight pounds. So a giant one came out of Jacksonville, Florida. Captain Steve Crowder, sheep's head master. <whistles> Did you know that triggerfish, and there's all kinds of triggerfish, I have a couple in my aquarium, you'll see the photo attached in the video, that triggerfish teeth never quit growing. So this guy, just like us, why we have to get our teeth worked on is because they're all, they're all we've got. We lose them, we hurt them, we do whatever to them. That's all we got. So a trigger fish never stops growing its teeth. So in the wild, they continually eat barnacles and coral and crushed shells to keep their teeth down. Otherwise their teeth just keep growing and growing and growing and never stop. So trigger fish, really cool. Now what they have to do in captivity, if they're on a diet with different things, this is actually where a fish dentist kind of comes into play. They will literally 
tranquilize the fish, knock it out for a little bit, and file down its teeth. So the trigger fish actually does need a fish dentist, unlike me, who's just pretending to be one on YouTube. The other cool thing, check out, I've got one in my aquarium again, a moray eel. So a moray eel has razor sharp teeth, unlike these, then they have a second jaw and a second level of teeth. So they have a front jaw and then a second jaw. So what ends up happening with them is that front jaw will actually close and grip the fish while the second jaw, so it's just like the movie Alien. It's coming out at you, one jaw, two jaw. Put down my prop. One jaw, two jaw this. First jaw grabs the prey, second jaw does the dirty work. So grab, grip, second jaw rips it to pieces, eats it, whatever you want. So Moria literally has two sets of jaws, two sets of teeth, then one comes out, the other stays back. So it's crazy. The marine world, the fish world that I love, if you're watching this you probably love it. Teeth, teeth are everything. So. In real life, keep your teeth pearly white and clean. Thank you for watching this video with the fish with people teeth. Click below, subscribe, share, like. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching my new channel. Hope you had fun with this. I learned a lot as I was doing this and uh, I'm getting ready to go eat some delicious fish. Thank you everybody. Have a wonderful day. See you later. Three fish with peep, with peep, with people teeth. I'll post some photos, photos, photos. Uh, tooth parade, human tooth fish coming at. Well, folks, that uh, <laughs> round one didn't work out so well. We're twinning. Okay, so I'm back. Um, a little wet. Don't mind the stains. This is one of my first YouTube videos ever. Actually, this is the first one I'm actually shooting for YouTube. So you're gonna learn with me when I shoot stuff with fish. I need to have running water nearby. I realize it's very hard to use the camera, move the camera, shake the camera with fish slime all over you. So anyways.